women in wrestling. We did not evolve. We have always been here. In the shadows. Waiting, ready, motivated. And now Ring of Honor places its spotlight on women. And as we stretch our arms to make space, we inspire. As we put our babies to bed, we create fairy tales. And as we lace up our boots and wear our stilettos, we chase dreams of gold. We are strong. We are athletes. We are passionate. We are they. This is Ring of Honor. And this is women's wrestling. This is so nice. I haven't had somebody do my makeup in a while. Well, see here, and here I am. Imagine that. <laughs> so nice. It is so nice. Huh? Uh, right now, I'm about to do a interview. Um, it's a sit-down interview. We do this with all of the girls um, to kind of get their thoughts about uh, the tournament and how the tournament's going to go and uh, their opponents, uh, how they got to this place, you know, family history, where are they from? Because all of those things make one idea, and that's what are you fighting for? Uh, what does this championship mean to you? What does this tournament mean to you? And Getting that across in each individual way is what makes this kind of tournament great. It's what made the Ring of Honor Pure Tournament so good, and it's what's going to make this tournament so good. Remind people who you are. If they don't know, you know tell them and tell them a little bit about I'm a little nervous. A little, little nervous. All right. Um, my name is Maria Canales Bennett. They call me the first lady of professional wrestling. I've been in professional wrestling now for 17 years. And along that time, I've had the opportunity to have a lot of different positions in this world, a lot of different jobs. I've been a wrestler, I've been a manager, I've been a backstage interviewer. And now here I am as a member of the board of directors. And I have to say that this particular role feels the most like me. At first, I didn't really have a vision of what my career was going to be, what it was gonna look like after the pandemic started, being locked in at home. Maybe it was time for me to protect my babies and not go back out into this crazy world. And it took a few months, it really did, to start piecing things back together and realize that there was going to be a world after COVID. And of course, my initial thought was Ring of Honor. My initial thought was, where is the women's division and how can we make this happen? And it just so happened that Ring of Honor believed the same thing. They had the same thought about me and about the women's division. To use the talent that was already here to build something new, to go back to what it means to be Ring of Honor. That's to be the best, the best wrestlers in the world. Tonight's announcement is about the women's division. Oh, okay, okay. This summer, Ring of Honor will be hosting a women's tournament to crown a new women's champion. Wow! I like that. All right! When I was asked to be part of this tournament, I'm not gonna lie, my heart dropped, and I tried to uh, hide the little girl on the inside of me that was screaming. When I got my ticket to gold, I was super excited. The first person I told was my mother. She knows that this is something that I've been working towards for so long. So to finally see this all come together, to see this, this tree bear such beautiful fruit, very happy about that. I was flattered when Maria gave me my ticket to gold. I hadn't talked to her in a while, so I was surprised, but also it was great to see a familiar face doing good things, and I hope that I can do good things here as well. I was first shocked uh, in the most delightfully positive way possible, but like emotionally for myself to like have the confidence to be like, all right, Maria believes in me. <laughs> Maria was someone I grew up watching and admiring, so coming from her specifically just made that moment that much more special. Shout out to Maria for recognizing the true women's talent that is out there. It is about time that the world, that the casuals, they see what real women's wrestling is about, what Holiday is about, what destruction in this ring is about. I was kind of like, wait, does she have the right email? Is she talking to the right person? 
I've been dreaming about becoming a professional wrestler since I was 10 years old. So being the first match to kind of restart the Ring of Honor Women's Division and then getting the first ticket to gold at 19 years old is blows my mind. <laughs> I was extremely emotional. Uh, it felt like such a great opportunity. My first ever match for Ring of Honor was a dark match almost 10 years ago. So to get a chance to actually compete and to be competing for the women's championship is just a dream come true. Being invited to be in this tournament has helped my confidence immensely. I knew that when I got asked to come do Women's Division Wednesday that I had to prove it to myself that I had it in me and they gave me the opportunity to show what I can do. And I think other people started to see that too. And it's just about people believing in you and seeing that you have potential and bringing the best out of you. Ring of Honor is something that I wanted to do for a very long time. And I think that this women's division is gonna be one of the best divisions in the world. I wanna be here for a really, really long time. So you're gonna see my face around. Back in the day before I was interviewing and before I had a microphone and a bow tie, I was just carrying boards to the ring, setting up, tearing down, night after night, town after town. And so I know that there are people in this tournament that have that background, the same as me, and they have sweat for this company the same way that I have. And they're going to bring that by trying to get a hold of that Ring of Honor Women's Championship. And then there are people that are in the tournament who I, I don't know a ton about. I've only met them a time or two whenever they've been here for Women's Division Wednesday, trying to get their tickets to gold. Like Roxy, I've heard a ton about her. I'm 10 years older than her, but she's been wrestling twice as long as me, which is just mind blowing. So I have this opinion of the people that I know that I think are gonna do well because I've seen them in the company before, but that doesn't mean that we can count other people out of the tournament like people like Roxy because they have tons of experience learning with the best of the best that there is today and they're going to bring all of those tools and they're going to see stuff here in Ring of Honor that we've not seen before and I'm really excited about that. I don't think you think highly enough of yourself. You yeah. do have a style and you do have a way of dressing that I think is so fun. Oh I love Ring of Honor a lot. I did a first women's match here and um, when I wrestled uh, Murphy Lake Center in Philadelphia first time 2002 I came back I wrestled here I'm so honored and I'm so happy and uh, ROH is everything why I came back this country and I'm in USA still for ROH Every time I come to Ring of Honor, I'm excited. I never want to go home. <laughs> I love Boss Lady. I'm glad that she's behind all of this. And like, she's pushing for the ladies to showcase what we can do. Um, and that, you know, she's basically just, it's given us a chance to be here. I would love to at some yeah. point, because me and my dad used to play. That was like yeah. one of our things. We did that, Stratego, like, who knew he was trying to make me like master manipulator in the industry. <laughs> Maria joining the tournament and being on the board of directors is interesting. I'll set it before and I'll say it again. Maria left this company several years ago. She walked out on Ring of Honor. She didn't want to be here and she wanted to go do other things. And now she's back and she wants to make a change here. But all that time she was gone, there was women here putting in the work. And if you want to come back, that's fine. You don't have to like me. You don't have to like Angelina Love. You don't have to like the allure. But you're going to respect us. And you're not going to forget about us. Do I feel like there needs to be a tournament? Absolutely not. This is the obvious answer right here. However, I feel like this is a Maria Canellis thing, needs to do it for her own ego. I know that in the wrestling business, sometimes no matter how long you've been in it, you have to continually prove yourself. Do I feel like I need to? No. But I also don't mind messing around with Maria a little bit. Oh yes, the women's tournament. Well, we have, uh, as you can see behind Dan Housen, we have Trisha Dora, that's Dan Housen's number one pick. Wonderful human, great wrestler. Some sort, see that? And uh, yes, we have uh, Max. Yes, where? Where is there? Somewhere around here, somewhere. Probably uh, devastating people, smashing them, doing uh, their thing. It's quite wonderful. So, 
Those are the Dan Housen's top two picks. Should be a good time. They're both uh, very nice, very evil, just like Dan Housen. And, uh, Dan Housen is looking forward to it. Okay, see you later, love that, Dan Housen. Women's wrestling has been put in this box. Like there's a certain code uh, of how women should be wrestlers. And I don't really subscribe to that. So you will find in this tournament that we have many different styles of wrestling, many different styles of women, different looks, different faces, different approaches. But one thing holds true, and that's that they all have integrity in themselves. I grew up with a lot of insecurities growing up. I didn't like the way I talked. I didn't like my skin color. I just didn't like anything about me that everybody had projected that I was nothing. I just started getting into sports and just, it just took me away from all the BS and just showed me I could be something. And now I'm, I'm finally feeling confident and um, finally finding myself and believing in myself and accepting who I am. And I know I'm pretty now. Everyone's gonna see me. They're gonna see me shine. It's been a struggle, but not, everyone's gonna know my name and they're gonna know how and why I belong here. I don't look like a conventional athlete. A lot of the women wrestlers who are the most successful do not look like me. There's a lot of times I just don't feel like I fit in, but the thing that I love about professional wrestling is that at the end of the day, if someone calls me fat, I'm still a really good wrestler, and that's, that's my job. My job is to be a wrestler. But to win the championship would kind of be like a validation of all of that. And that would be something I would wear with honor. <laughs> a lot of women in this tournament are fighting for one thing and one thing only, and that's a championship. Now I'm fighting for the championship as anybody else, but I'm fighting for so much more than that. I'm fighting from coming up without a father, around the streets, around drugs, around alcohol. I'm fighting to get away from all of that. Wrestling brought me away from that and I will continue to fight not only for myself, but for other girls that struggle like me. Outside of this, I am the longest reigning Shimmer Champion, but to the rest of the world, they don't know me as that. They just know me as this person who was in a tag team or who was part of a group with stronger personalities. I've always been in the background so now I'm here to prove that I am me, I am my own person, and that I am the best and I can do this on my own. Since I was 10 years old, my mom has always been so supportive. This is the first time I told her that I wanted to become a professional wrestler. We do kind of butt heads every now and then. It came to a point where a very big argument came. I ended up getting kicked out of my house. That was tough. Then there was a day, I was sitting in the car with my boyfriend, and I got a call from Ring of Honor. And me and my boyfriend were celebrating, and I said, I'm gonna call my mom. And then I stopped and realized that I could not. And although I was extremely nervous, I did it. In her voice, it just sounded like she was just so happy that she heard from me. I told her about Ring of Honor, and we both cried. And after that, our relationship has been so much better than it was before. I love my mom so much. She has done everything in her power to make sure that my dreams come true. That's one of the biggest reasons that I am here right now. A couple of months ago, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. And she has since moved down to Atlanta at a facility and she's, you know, under care. And we're very hopeful, but that's definitely put a lens on how I view my timeline and my career overall. You know, time is of the essence, and it's important that I'm able to spend those moments with her, and it's also important that I'm able to move forward with my career. Growing up, she had very low self-esteem. She didn't feel like she could do anything. Those things that she saw people doing on TV, she didn't ever thought that that was for her. I'm in this tournament for her. I'm gonna do everything for her. And I'm gonna have my shoulders back. I'm gonna have my head held high. And I'm gonna be the first Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Thank you for sharing that, Trish. 
Mike's leaving me. That's what's I'm, happening here. I couldn't potentially walk any slower. So today is uh, day two of the taping week of the tournament. Um, today's a pay-per-view day, so tonight is a big announcement. Tonight we are um, telling the world who all of the women are facing in this tournament. We're revealing the brackets. We're also going to reveal the championship for the very first time. You're going to be able to see the title. Um, and our title is the Women's Division Championship, but it's really not a gender. It's a title. And it really truly means something to all of the women in this tournament. Um, and it means something to me. Best in the world! We are here in Tar City, Baltimore, Maryland. Me, Rick Abani, Caprice Coleman, we're so glad you joined us. We have a special announcement, fans. We'll go to that. We'll go to Maria Canellas Bennett right now. There's one spot open. Hold on a and second. And I have the perfect person to fill that spot, but unfortunately, she isn't cleared to wrestle. But you know what? She's got a lot to say. So how about we bring her out right now? Who's this? Look at this kid. kidding me? Is this who I think it is? It sure is! Former world champion, it's Chelsea Green! I have scratched and I have clawed my way to the top and after seven years, I can finally say Chelsea Green is a ring of honor. Wow! I need to prove to you, and to you, and to you, and to myself, that I am enough. <laughs> this cast, and these scars under this cast, they're an everyday reminder that I am unstoppable. So Maria, start the clock. You don't have to wait 90 days. In one month, when this cast is off, and I'm stronger than ever, I am going to join these amazing women. And I'm going to take the Ring of Honor women's division to the forefront of wrestling. You did so good. I was shaking the whole time. Oh my God, you guys. You did so good. No, it was actually so good. And once I held it, like I was shaking. And I was like, yes. Like I know what I'm doing. And you know what you're doing. They convince you that you don't. But you do know what you're doing. And you do know who you are and what you want to tell is your story. And you did it. So good job. I literally feel like in two minutes I just got back like all the confidence I lost in two years. So crazy. Isn't it? And my breath is so bad, I probably oh, caught too. <laughs> my mic is too. We'll just all have terrible breath. It'll be great. That means you did well. I wish I could say that I wasn't motivated by the hate and the trolls and people on Twitter saying nasty things, but honestly, that is always in the back of my mind. No matter what I do, I can't help but think of the people that don't want me to succeed. That's not my driving force at all. My driving force is to provide a really, really happy and comfortable life for my family, you know, my mom and my dad and, and my sister and the family that I'm gonna have in the future. But there's a little part of me that just wants to prove every nasty, mean troll wrong. Is that bad? <laughs> I didn't know who was going to be in this tournament, but I knew the possibilities. And I know of the girls that are out there and the talent that is finally coming up to this Ring of Honor level. And so when I was finally able to see the brackets and who was actually in this tournament, I was so, so excited. I, I can't wait. I'm counting down the days till I can get in the ring with them. Me and Mike last night putting all these giddy bags together. Um, you know, there's there's things that we can do when we build up such a great team, and that's like getting makeup from different makeup companies. 
um, through my makeup artist, Leslie, who has worked in professional wrestling for over 14 years. So um, it's just a really cool uh, little extra that um, we get to do. And I think the girls really appreciate it. So it's a good way to start the day. Not enough makeup in the world to make <laughs> me look good on TV. Oh, no, you look great. You're fabulous. Fabulous. Well, today is day one of filming the actual tournament. Um, tournament matches. We have a lot of matches today. We have three matches this morning. I'm very excited about all of them. The girls are super excited about it. Makeup and hair was fantastic on point this morning. I'm very excited for the day. The girls are very excited. Um, yeah, and I can't wait. I can't wait until we can look back and go, wow, that's done. And those matches were amazing. For real. <laughs> my mind is like racing. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Um, I get nervous before all of my matches, but someone told me that if you still get nervous, it means you still love it. So I think of it as a good thing. <laughs> but I'm very excited. I'm gonna wrestle Sumi. <sighs> very nervous, very nervous. But I got this, I got this. I'm a prodigy. Introducing first, wrestling out of Laredo, Texas, the prodigy, Roxy! Her partner, wrestling out of the Jersey Shore, Japan, Roxy studies. Roll Sumi through. One, That's it. She's two, trapped. She's trapped. She's trapped. She's trapped. She's trapped. She's trapped. She's trapped. She just beat her. The winner in this match advancing to the quarterfinals of the tournament, Roxy. Oh, that was amazing. I just beat former Women of Honor champion to go to the next round. And I have no words. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. the prodigy is going to be going to go very, very far in this tournament. When you I promise you. I'm very excited. Very excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I might just go out there and do some nervous ticks, but my nervous ticks are like. <laughs> Wait, is that, is that right? <laughs> See, I can't play basketball. <laughs> High angle sidewalk. Oh, nice. Get the best of This is the for any champion and challengers. Conditioning coming into effect here as both. A little bit slower now at the end of the match to get to their feet. Swung for the fence there. That's it. There. Oh, that's it. Drag yeah. into the bridge. That's a finisher. Two. Yeah. Three. She got her. So it's like it's like go time and you gotta like start calming down But it's like your mind gets started racing and racing and racing and then when you're out there. It's just like ah, This is home springboard crossbody probably gonna have a black eye but that's okay that's why we're here if you're gonna lose lose giving it all you got right nobody in this business intimidates me and every single night that I go out there I show you why I am so 
great. I look forward to winning the tournament. I look forward to my next competitor. And you ladies, y'all better bring it because the Lucha Baddie is here to stay. The thing about a tournament like this, after coming back from a women's division being absent for a year, is anything can happen. I think for the women that have been in Ring of Honor for a long time, that have that experience, that fan base, that passion for Ring of Honor, they're at a bit of a disadvantage in some ways. They haven't had as many matches, some of these girls coming in in the last year, because they couldn't, because Ring of Honor wasn't running. And then you have all these new girls coming in, and they've been able to have a lot more matches, a lot more experience. So is that ring rust gonna matter at the end of the day? Or are these girls coming in gonna think too highly of themselves? I guess we'll have to find out. The whole division is trying to change the perception, not just be an exception to the rule, because I used to get like, you're good for a girl, right? Like, I don't wanna be like an exception to whatever kind of weird thoughts that you have about what women's wrestling should be or is. Being able to be a part of that and have a role in something much larger than just myself is extremely rewarding. So of course I'm here and I want to win, but everyone's gonna tell you that exact same thing. So at the end of the day, just continuing to change the perception of women's wrestling and uphold the athleticism, respect uh, that entails all of that. Looking for the Kimura! Has it! Oh, oh she's got her! Pinky's up, there you saw it. Allison Kay will face the winner of either her best friend Marty Bell or Trish Adora in what should be another amazing encounter. Oh. Nice stretch hand here of Willow. Code of honor oh, in here too. We love to see it. You do love to see it. And you love to see Allison Kay moving on to the round of eight to the quarterfinals. I would love to face Allison Kay because she is a good friend of mine. We go back, you know, to our impact days. But there's a couple of new girls that I would love to face, one being Roxy. I think that she's gonna be an absolute star. She already is, but she's just gonna blow up. And I wanna get to her before she blows up. Trish has shown so much perseverance in this match. There we saw the nice arm drag. Got the arms trapped. It traps oh. the cattle mutilation. Can she get the fingers locked? Shades of Brian Danielson here, the American Dragon. And got the fingers, and that's it. Once the fingers were locked in, she tapped. It went pretty good. I get to advance, so that's always a good feeling. You know, tournament Trish is back. <laughs> Taking it all the way to the top. This is the final opportunity for Quinn McKay. She's not going to win. She's not going to win. She wants it. Like I said, she can sing get her ass beat. And here is my pick to win it all. My two. <laughs> Thinking about Last it. Last time, we were in a ring together. You punched me in the head with brass knuckles. Guess what? You remember then? You remember now. I'm prepared and you're not going to win this time. Tell him, Quinn. Quinn's shown a lot of heart and determination trying to get this far, but at every turn, she's been stopped by the allure. Quinn McKay looking to get payback in addition to advancing in the championship tournament. And Manny Leone just wants to stick it to Quinn one more time. Oh my god! Power power she's got a power slam! He's got a power slam! Power two! Oh. Just a two count there! Oh! oh backpack stunner! Counters astral projection! And wait a minute! She's counters she crossing the move! She's got her bow tie! She got it! She got it with the bow tie! She got her! Oh my god! Quit! 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 That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm talking about! Going to the corner! Heck yeah! Did you see that? You said I won. She took me to the belt. She took me to the title. She said I'm never a champion. But guess what? Maria, we need to talk. I won. We need to talk. And she didn't. No, 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 no. And that's what's important today. Stay the course. Quinn McKay picked up her first victory here in Ring of Honor. And coming back from two losses against two very tough opponents, that says something about a person. Because not only was she dealing with the fight inside the ring, she was dealing with the fight in her head and thinking to herself, well, maybe I, I shouldn't be in this ring because maybe I should be backstage interviewing because I, I, I'm good at 
backstage interviewing, and people believe in me there. But now, Quinn McKay standing in that ring, she doesn't have a microphone, she doesn't have someone standing next to her, she just has herself. And Quinn McKay showed a ton of heart in her match with Mandy. And I believe that Quinn McKay will show a lot of heart moving forward. We're kind of witnessing the culmination of a lot of months and months and months of hard work. It's actually really cool to watch this whole thing come together and to kind of see Maria's work get to be shown and get to be spotlit and it's really cool and I've watched her and Bobby Cruz just tirelessly just put this thing together and I know how much she's wanted to do this job. From the minute we got together 10 years ago, she always talked about running a women's show, running a women's division, so to get to be able to see her do that is really cool. I'm a little tired from yesterday, even though I got a lot of sleep. I think everybody, for the most part, is pretty tired. I know who I'm facing, and I'm still strong and confident. Um, somebody who I'm very familiar with, somebody who I roomed with in Japan, so I know all of their strengths. I stand by what I said. I'm gonna win the tournament, and that's all. I'm just focused and ready to go. I feel real good about this one. It's not my first tournament. Probably won't be the last, but this is the tournament. <laughs> Close line. It's Alize. Planning Savoy. Savoy has to retreat to the outside. No! Let's go! Plans her with a DDT. And she's starting the engine here. Lenny, look for the drive by. Drive by. One, two, three. Just as I told you, just like any other night. I'm feeling strong and confident. The Lucha Baddie is here to take everything that I deserve. So my plan right now is to just ride the high of my win over Mandy and hope for the best. Honestly, that's the game plan. Not much of a game plan, I know, I know, but it's something. You know, Quinn is gonna be a hell of a competition, but uh, I really feel like I got this in the bag. And I've seen what you can do out there, and I know that we can make something special. Oh, I'm sorry, Roxy, I think they're playing your music. I think you're time to you go out there. I'll see you out there. I'll see you. Go. Take one. And I like both women. Take three, take one. Oh, uh -oh. There you go. Before and that, the confidence coming in. On force there. Code red! She's stuck her. That's it. Two, three! Yeah. Woo! I'm going to the semifinals, baby! Have you given any thought to the next round of who you might be facing? On one hand, I have Max, which I'm pretty sure I've seen in my nightmares or something. But on the other hand, I have Angelina, which seven time champion loves mind games. So on both hands, I have challenges. Okay. Hold on. Max doesn't like to be chased around like that, but when they're ready for their match, they take things very seriously. So next time, give us a little warning. Ring of Honor has been my home. I've been here for about four years, and I've become one of the most established women in Ring of Honor history, and I've managed several of our best champions. I think it's amazing and such a great opportunity to work with Max. Max is someone that I was really drawn to. I want to show people what I see. I see Max as a true star. I, I warned, warned you. you. And there's almost an implication. Get her. There's an almost an implication. Wow, she just said get her. When the Allure paid Max the Impaler, that they were their money was gonna stretch a little further. <laughs> He's giving her a chance! He's giving her another chance here! No. no! Max, 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 Max! That's it. That's it. And, and good for Mandak! And she's not letting go! Somebody needs to break. Oh, oh, oh god, right in the arm! 
The winner of this match, as a result of a disqualification, advancing to the semifinal, Angelina Wall. I hit my finger on the mirror. You're still pretty. You look beautiful. It was awesome. It's great. It's one of the most important parts is the social media. You gotta get you gotta get the right angle, you know? Yes, girl. Okay. You know, I can't imagine there are many athletes in this tournament whose names have gone down, written in the history books, alongside people such as Mildred Burke, Penny Banner, June Byers. I am a former NWA Women's World Champion, and I plan on bringing that prestige to this division, the ROH Women's Division, and becoming the first ROH Women's Division Champion. Allison K up and over. Oh. Off the ropes, Larry oh. Tommy! Larry she got it! Could it be? Hook the line! She got Two, it! Three! I got Larry to spare, baby. Let me know if you want one. The semifinals of this tournament have surprised a lot of people. And the four women that are in the semifinals, they're incredibly talented. Angelina Love, who has so much experience. Seven time women's champion. And then you've got Trisha Dora, who has a fight from within. She has all the makings of being a huge star in this industry. And then you've got Roxy. And now she's gotten a few wins under her belt. She's feeling pretty good about herself. She has had some fantastic trainers and she listens. And she's a sponge and she's learning. Every time she gets in there with another opponent, she is learning from that opponent. And then you have Miranda Alizé. And even though in this pandemic, a lot of people have stopped traveling, a lot of people have stopped leaving the country, she has found a way to continue traveling down to Mexico and learning and training and keeping herself relevant. I can't really say anybody that stands out to me in particular. That's not my job. My job is not to say who I think people should be watching out for. My job is to give a platform and then for those girls take the opportunity to really shine out there, to prove what they've got. about Moran's background in her opening round match. Trish is in trouble. Oh, she caps. Alizé's going to the finals. I will be the next Ring of Honor Women's Champion. catch me when I'm gonna cry. <laughs> when we started talking about this last year, like, I had an idea of what it could be. And as the matches were going, you think to yourself, like, oh yeah, this, this is starting to work. This is starting to work. And then you get to the place where it does. And that's really cool. But for me, it's about the team. It's about everybody coming together and having these incredible matches and representing Ring of Honor, representing wrestling in such a way that I'm just proud. I'm really proud. 
but we have to have a final two. My first opponent was Sumi Sakai, and I truly did not know if I was going to be able to pull that one off, but I did. Then, I was up against Quinn McKay, a spitfire, super talented, and that was one of the most competitive matches I've ever had in my career, and I pulled that one off too. And now, I face seven-time world champion, Angelina Love. She's been wrestling longer than I've been alive. So it truly seems like all odds are against me. But I also feel like it's been that way ever since I started wrestling. And I overcame every single one of those odds because the fans believed in me, because the fans named me the prodigy. And because of that, I have to win. And because of that, I have to beat Angelina Love. Angelina is about to get in that ring and face Little Miss Roxy. And after what happened with Maxie and Taylor, it's okay, she'll be fine. I know this is what Maria wanted and it's okay. Angelina's got this. She's gonna go out there and she's gonna beat Roxy. Just watch. Death Before Dishonor, crowning a new champ. I mean, I really couldn't ask for it to have been any better. I mean, I'm just so incredibly excited and just, yeah. Can I point to something? Ah, oh, here. Ring of Honor. <laughs> Today is the day we crown a new champ and I am so incredibly excited for both women because at the end of the day, no matter who is crowned champ, we still have to move forward with a division and it's the division that can change the world, not just one person. How are you? This guy? Oh, this is my partner in crime right here. <laughs> We've had so much Support from everybody. It's a complete team effort. That's what Maria and I have preached from day one I think it's gonna be a little bit bittersweet when that three count takes place tonight and the tournament's actually over, but We're not done two great talents two women who absolutely love wrestling love competing Love getting out there and doing their thing in front of the fans. Um, I think we're in for a banger tonight Rock Steve versus Alan Jay, baby. Hey, that's a hey, that's a that's a match that's there. Tulsa. That's a, Flip a corn. You got yeah. a corn chip? No, I ain't got, got no corn. corn. I ain't got corn there. But I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to seeing these girls get down because uh, Roxy, Miranda, Alize, the real deal. You hear what I'm telling you? Yup. I've never wrestled Miranda, but I have wrestled Roxy. Roxy's gonna win. She should. So, who I want to win is Max, but that's not a possibility right now, and I had some business I had to take care of. But if I had to choose between the two, I think Miranda should be the winner. Definitely rooting for Roxy. <laughs> Everything looks amazing. Uh, my parents are on their way. I'm just hoping that I can pull this off for not just not just ten year old little me, but uh, all the fans that believe in me, my mom and my dad that have supported me from the beginning. Um, I think it'll be such a special moment if, if they could just see me accomplish everything that I've, I've worked so hard for. 
Oh, I'm just thinking. I'm just going over some stuff, going over my strategies, staying calm, hanging out. She's a tough young woman. Well, hopefully, her dreams will come true for her. They're already starting to come true. She was excited about Ring of Honor. Yes. And uh, she loves all the wrestling fans and the excitement and everybody. Yes. The whole wrestling family. I am very proud of her. Um, I don't know what to expect, so may the best lady win. My mom has cried a total of like five times on this trip, and nothing's happened yet. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> we told her win or lose, she made her dreams come true, and that's you know what we're most excited for. Working hard, went after her dreams, pushing us. At 13, can I train? Can I train? Can I train? To fast forward till 19, almost 20, and you know here at Ring of Honor, it's an incredible journey she's been on. And we're just watching it every moment of it, enjoying it. So I know that there's nerves with both of the girls, of course. They're never going to admit that. Um, they're never going to be ones that, you know, were to complain about that or have an issue with like that. Um, but I know that they're there. And it's remembering that people are human and they're going to have those nerves. But nerves are good, no matter what anybody says. Having those nerves means you care. So it's just making sure to manage those things in a way that doesn't freak everybody out. One woman will walk out of the 2300 arena, the inaugural Ring of Honor Women's Division World Champion. Both of these women thought they could win this championship, but I think Miranda Alizé is the one of the two who expects to win. Could yeah. be confidence, it could be hubris. Yeah. We're gonna find out before this one's over. We're finding out right now that neither woman is phased by the bright lights here. I've never seen that before, Rick Abani. Got it! Is it enough to? Can Miranda Alizé hit the one big move to put her name in the history books here? Roxy is not giving up. Both these women showing the heart of champions here. And head to head, lock and horns. Miranda Alizé, shot to the forehead. And it's oh. Roxy returning fire. Oh, my wow. God. Code Rock. Done. That's Blast it, Rick Abadi. I promise you that. She got her. champion, new champion, new champion. All I've ever wanted to do was just make 10 year old little me proud. And I know that winning the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship would definitely make little me proud. <laughs>